welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be talking about the microsoft store problem where majority of the people have the issues while downloading any kind of application or game through the microsoft store they face the slow downloading problem now what exactly happened whenever they try to click or download any or update any kind of application it is stuck on pending or it download very slowly that is a very common problem and if you have the same issues then what you will have to do you need to close everything from your computer and the first thing that you have to assure that you have the proper internet connection speed so in order to find out the speed and what kind of ping you are getting you can come to this website click on go and it will let you know that what kind of downloading what kind of ping latency you are getting in case if you are getting a low internet speed and the high ping then you have to go ahead and restart your computer restart your modem and still if you have the issue then you can contact your internet service provider but if this is not the problem and you are getting a proper internet speed then what you have to do next right click on the windows icon click on task manager now here from the left hand menu option you have to click on performance then on the right hand side you will find the three dot click on it and then click on resource monitor so once the resource monitor comes up you have to click on the network tab and then you have to wait for a while until all the application get properly loaded now once it get loaded you have to find out the application here that is occupying the maximum bandwidth on my end you can see chrome.exe is occupying a lot of bandwidth and due to which probably the chances are I'm not getting the proper downloading speed for my Microsoft store. Okay, so what you can do, you can right click on it and choose end process in case if you don't want to use the Chrome. Okay, this is the first thing that you can try. Similarly, look for the other application here. Whichever you don't need, just close it from here. Once you are done, close everything. Now next, make a right click on the Windows icon. Click on setting from the suggestion. Now here from the left in menu option, you have to click on network and internet. Then you have to click on the connection through which you are connected like Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And once you come up here, you will find the metered connection option. Now you have to make sure that this option has been disabled. So if it has been on, then you have to turn it off and then you can close it. Same you have to do with the Wi-Fi if you are connected with the Wi-Fi. Once done, from the left hand menu option only, click on Windows Update. Then click on Advanced option. And here in the additional option, you will be getting Delivery Optimization. So click on it. Then click on Advanced option again. And here you have to select the second option that says Percentage of Measured Bandwidth. Check this option. Check the first box. And make it to 100. And now you can close it. Now next you have to click on your Windows search. Type CMD. Right click on command prompt. Click run as admin. Click on yes. Now here you have to type WS reset. Hit the enter key. Now this will be clearing the Microsoft store cache. And after that it will automatically bring up the store application. Now you can go ahead and try and see if the problem has been fixed. And in case still if you have the issues, then next what you have to do, close everything, click on your Windows search, type PowerShell. In the suggestion, you will be getting Windows PowerShell. Right click on it, choose run as admin, click on yes. Now in the description, you will be getting a command. So basically we are re-registering the Microsoft store. So you will have to copy the command here simply make a right click and it will be automatically pasted and then it will be all done now once it's been done you can close it and now go ahead and restart the computer restart your modem i'm very sure that your problem of slow downloading in the microsoft store application will be fixed that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.